Here we are, the next installment of the JR Build. Focusing on all things the lower. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. No? All right. One thing you should talk to, you know, the, the viewers out there is the selection of the lower receiver itself. Yeah. It was a pretty short list of lowers that I had cooked up in my, you know, dream scenario, which is a reality now. You said, hey, dream it up. We're going to build you an AR, JR. Ooh, I like that. No, no, no one does. <laughs> so, Noveski, top of the list. I, I said, hey, if, if, if we can make it happen, that's what I want. You said, your wish is my command. So that is that is what we got. And then when you went to pick it up, you didn't take your driver's license. Oh, so that was a... So they wouldn't... <laughs> that was a saga. First of all, driver's license was... Um, what's the word? Expired. Good morning, Like everyone. the milk in his refrigerator <laughs> expired. Yeah, I can't think it. Yeah, so my driver's license was expired. My wife reminded me three times a week, hey, honey, your driver's license is expired. You need to go to the DMV again. And I said, yeah, I'll get, I'll get right on that. I'll get right on that. Get... Kept forgetting, kept pushing it off. Several months later. Then we go to pick up the lower the gentleman at the counter said, sir, I can't give you your lower today. Your driver's license. Exists. You turned around and looked at Dan and I. And I, said, <laughs> I said, my wife is going to get a kick out of this story. So I go, I get my driver's license renewed. They give me a piece of paper because they mail you the license. Yeah, it's a temporary. So, and I'm like, oh, is the paper going to work? I go back. The paper worked. Oh, OK. So it was kosher. Go. All right. I was able to get on the second trip. Actually, we did three trips. Remember the first time the, the gun shop was closed? Yeah, we went on like a Monday or something. Yeah, we got there like Radios. half an hour. After. So three trips later, lower acquired. <laughs> and I also, I got to say this, all the dudes working were like, oh, you're the guy that got the Noveski lower. That's like the best lower in the biz. Like, So I felt like kind of yeah. hot shit for what? a minute there. Definitely hot shit. <laughs> what were, what else? I, I think you had SLR. SLR was up there. Like Battle Arms Development. Battle Arms, of course. They have a really cool yeah. uh, billet, chunky looking uh, upper and lower. SLR does great stuff, but kind of the more, this is purely for, for looks wise. I just I wasn't into, you know, over design maybe. And mm -hmm. I mean that as a compliment. Um, it's just a little too techy, a little too much. Noveski was just the porridge that was just right in my mind. God. Goldilocks. Oh my God. Or wait. Yeah, Goldilocks reference. Yes, right, Goldilocks. Uh, <laughs> no, let's not restart. I'm going to actually uh, bring up the lower to the camera so we do a little quick sure. close up of it. JR has an, a Noveski upper to go with this lower. And through working on these, we've just seen how, we've seen how really tight the tolerances are through the machining process. Really high quality chunk of aluminum right here. And I guess we could talk about some of the parts that are on here real quick, and I'll run down them since I have the, the lower in my hand. JR has fallen in love with, as we know, the Die Free Co. Grip, Die Free Company. Great new hot brand, doing really great things. The CMMG Ambi Mag Release, as you see right here, accompanied by the CMMG Zeroed uh, bolt release, bolt catch. Working with the Timber Creek Grayman FTE Ambi selector, it's I think a 45 degree, maybe 50 degree, and then using a CMC flat bow trigger. Then going all the way over here to none other than the JE Machine Sot Mod stock that we've come to love. Great value, great piece. And then one more real quick flip around, you can see Radian takedown pins and get you a better view of that CMC flat bow trigger. And then there's the paddle on the other side of the CMMG Ambi mag release. And again, I know I made a whole other video about this mag release, but when you push this, it drops that mag. It's incredible. Now, there is one crowning achievement. Slide it over here. Don't let the camera see it. So Clint, David, Ryan over at MFT knew that JR was making his first AR-15, and so they sent this badass custom-printed magazine for him with JR's artwork on it, and uh, pretty incredible. Goes really well. When you put it all together, that's what you have in terms of the color scheme that he's got going on here. 
you know, JR and I talked at length about is he going to do a, a, you know, multicolored upper versus lower, and he landed on yes. So that's why there's a black lower and an FDE uh, upper. Thinking about the build, JR is not afraid to admit that, you know, for his first gun, for his first AR-15 that he's building, like a lot of us, aesthetics do matter. You know, what you want out of the look of the gun, especially when you're building your first one, will lead to then function testing and how it best suits your lifestyle and how you're going to use it for its intended purpose. And so just the little things, right? Like making sure, I, I think he's a huge fan of the stop mod stocks, yeah. also has a QD mounts. That way, you know, you can put a sling back there. I mean, we have a cornucopia of slings oh, yeah. in, the, uh, in the shop here. But uh, everything down to, and I'll let him talk about it again, because this is a big thing for him, the die-free company grip. Yeah, um, Die Free, they are a company that was in the December TAC pack. They are a, a fresh new company from 2023, right? They, they just started. Mm -hmm. um, they sent us samples of this grip, and I fell in love with it immediately. And it kind of, the, the same time we got the sample was kind of the same time I was starting the build. And I was like, that's an easy pick for my grip. So I love it. And then the CMMG parts on here. Yeah. Who is a brand new partner with TACPAC. Going into the February box. Oh, wow. Oh, oh that was not, not planned. He just wears that shirt every day. Every other day. Every <laughs> day-ish. Um, and one thing about CMMG is they have this, you know, they, they make awesome rifles, obviously. And they use mil-spec parts on a lot of them or have for years but they came out with a new line called Zeroed. So it's a CMMG Zeroed line of parts and it's like ambi selectors, ambi um, mag catches, ambi bolt catches, stuff like that. Or, you know, bolt catches with bigger paddles, I would say. Radian, I mean, it, it's funny. It's, it's a coincidence, but it's not that a lot of these parts are partners of TACPAC. Yeah. Like you gave me a blank slate to choose what parts I wanted on the rifle. Yeah. I ended up picking the best of the best in my mind with the experience I have. And that happened to be a lot of the companies we work with, you know, that yeah. we get items in the box and sent to you all. So a cool synergy was happening there. And, and yeah, it's, it's, we're putting, you know, our money where our mouth is. We yeah. send these types of products and the monthly subscription boxes to you. And we believe in them enough that for my first rifle build, I'm going to trust these companies and these products to be utilized and functional and, and help me get what I want out of a gun. To that point, right, like something as little as takedown pins. We put eight different sets in front of them and he narrowed it down to Aeronox, Battle Arms Development, and Radian, and ultimately selected Radian. But even little things like that really matter in your build. And it's all stuff that we've had here, used, abused, put to the test. We wouldn't send anything out that we didn't believe in. But yeah, I mean, the cool part about his build is there's a really good overlap, a really strong overlap um, with brands that we work with uh, because we, we want to work with the best, most reliable brands out there. Uh, and I think that's a testament to you know, the people that we do work with and the, and the products that they put out are very high quality. It's funny about the Die Free Code Grip because I think that they just come out of the mold. And then we got a sample uh, like four days later. Yeah. Really, really excited to team up with them because they were in December, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then who knows? Maybe some of their grips will come in the future. Or they make that badass knife, right? Uh... Knife is awesome. Man, if we had a higher level box, that super expensive knife could Like the TAC Pack Plus Plus? Yeah, man. Hmm. Maybe. Um, we're getting off track. We're getting so. off track. We're getting off track. <laughs> Dino Mag. Not, no longer Dino Nuggets, Dino Mags. Um, <laughs> Dino My Eggs. Okay. So, where we go from here, there's so, this is actually just the beginning of the, the real journey, in my opinion. Because now, we're going to slap this thing together, not on this video. It's right there. We could literally do it right now, but we're not going to do that. We want to get his sling sorted out, things like that. I think he might do a light. You may be looking at a little yeah. front, end, yeah. front end light on there. Then we'll do a video where we put it all together, combine that with a range video of first impressions and thoughts, and then we'll talk about 
if you want to make changes, yeah. what you really like about it, what yeah. you don't like about the way that it's set up, and bring forth honest reviews, honest reactions, mm -hmm. so that it's not it's, it's, it's not something that's paid for, right? Like these are parts that we have. These are either leftovers from other boxes or parts we sourced in anticipation of the build. Thank you to all the people who we reached out to, shipped us parts really quickly. We appreciate that. But it's really about what you're gonna do with it from here. I mean, building it was fun. There's an aesthetic to it and obviously they function. Hopefully all the parts function really well when we go out and shoot it. More importantly, how will you use this in your life from now on? Yeah. I think that's really important then to become proficient and to have repeatable processes so you can have kind of some reflex uh, that goes on when you're shooting. And ultimately, in my opinion, and I don't know if this is your opinion, but for me, when I was doing this, you know, many years ago, it was about then where am I gonna put the gun in my house? Mm -hmm. Where am I gonna put the mags now that I have kids? And so on and so forth. And now my kids are at an older age where they might be more curious about things. There's a lot that goes through your mind yeah. on how you're gonna set up your rifle, especially how it runs and how you like the way that it's, that it's outfitted. But then, what do you plan to do with the rifle? How often do you plan to train with the rifle? And are you gonna use it for home defense? What's your strategy there? So there's a lot more to come. I mean, this is honestly just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to field testing it, putting rounds through it, doing like a thousand round test. Mm -hmm. You're paying for all that. Yeah, it's right? over there. Yeah, perfect, so. <laughs> yeah. We keep, we keep stock full of ammo here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm excited. I've said in other videos, but very grateful for the opportunity. It's been a blast. And like you said, we're just we're just getting started with it. I cannot wait gonna... to fire this thing. Yeah, Ooh. maybe next week yeah. we get out there, or maybe in this beautiful Ohio weather. Yeah, it's like five degrees in the shop here. That's why I'm dressed, you know. Yeah, like that's this. why I got my purple jacket on. Yeah, there. blue, purple, whatever. Layered up, but yeah, yeah. Let's do let's do a snow shoot. Snow shoot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. As always, this has been a long journey, mm -hmm. but we're finally here. Like the Hobbit. The next time we'll put them together, and uh, th that next video will have the fully assembled rifle, and then for you know field testing, first impressions, first thoughts, and any changes. Yeah. But uh, I predict there's not going to be a ton of changes. The things I I can I good. can <laughs> see I can see one change okay, already. Let's get some prediction. Uh, on this video? Oh, you want me to like put my money where my mouth is? Yeah, yeah. No, because then you will or won't oh, do it. Oh, you put it in my mind. Yeah, maybe I'll write I'll write it down on a piece of paper. Okay. Here, I'm gonna, we'll, I'm gonna point to, is it around this area? No. Oh, okay. Nope. Because this thing's gonna be loud as hell. It's, it? no, no, no. <laughs> Initially, you want to go with like a blast can or All like right. a Nevesky flaming pig or, you know, something like that. That was a real big chunky thing on the end. And the fact that you have a flash hider versus a brake, the mm. brake shoots everything out this way, which is closer to your body. The flash hider is gonna still propel the blast forward. So I think you'll be lucky there. I'm so happy I went with that. Yeah? Happy. Check in next time. We rocking and rolling the single be together and it'll be a range report. Yeah. Like always, talk, talk soon. soon. No, I'm not gonna tell you. Yeah, I'm curious. Because then you're gonna be like, oh, it didn't really matter. I'll write it down on a piece of okay. paper, but I'm not gonna. Self-fulfilling prophecy. I, I'll tell Dan. Okay. I'll tell Dan, and then Dan will be like, yo, JR, you lost. Yeah. That's it. And that's a gun.